Hey, I hope it is going great. Today you are going to learn how to use the Django filter package together with the Django REST framework. And we want to do so because more often than not, we are not going to return the entire query set, just a subset. For example, we could go in here and simply overwrite the get query set. To not return the entire snippet objects at all, but let's say to just return snippet the objects the filter and we want any snippet that contains h1 in the title and just for convenience we are going to remove these two lines to make accessing our api easier and also make sure to remove the setting in the settings of pi and as you can see we now only get one snippet instead of two and that's the one snippet that contains h1 in the title. But this approach isn't very scalable and it would be way better if we could pass some parameters in the URL. And to do so we are going to, as I said, use the Django filter package. pip install Django-filter. Make sure to add it to your installed apps as Django underscore filters. And now in your settings of pi, you can set rest framework equal to a new dictionary. And the setting is called default underscore filter backends. And we're going to set it to Django filters dot rest framework dot Django filter backend. And this setting is now enabled globally, so we don't need to specify it on every view set we have, but we could do so by simply going in here and setting the filter underscore backends equal to Django filter backend and then simply import it from the same path. But again, we are going to leave it here. The first path we can take is to simply set the filter fields equal to, let's say title and create it. And of course, make sure to remove the get query set function. And as you can see, we now have a filters option, which we can click on and filter by the title of H1 snippet or by the other one. But the problem with this is that we can only filter by an exact match, which means that if we type in h4, then we don't get anything back. And to resolve this behavior, we can override the filter set. So let's go in here and create a class called snippet filter, which subclasses from filters to filter set. And let's quickly import the filters from Django underscore filters, import rest framework as filters just so we don't have to use this name and we can use filters instead which is more descriptive for example we can set a title equal to a filters dot char filter and set the lookup underscore expression to i contains and then in the class meta we can set the model equal to the snippet model and the fields we want to be able to filter by are going to be the title and still be created. And because we have created a snippet filter of our own, we can leave this option out and instead specify the filter set underscore class as snippet filter. Now we still get the filters option, but this time we see title contains instead of only title, which would be for the I exact match. And let's see what happens if we type in h1. Then we get the h1 snippet awesome so we customize the behavior of our filter but if the only thing you want to do is change the lookup expression then you can remove this and actually set this to a dictionary and the first key is going to be the title and we are going to set the value to a list and the only element we have in here is the i contains and the other one is going to be the created with i exact and then let's also choose LTE, which stands for less than or equal to and GTE, which stands for greater than or equal to. And this time we have four options, as you can see. So let's go ahead and copy this bit right here and insert it in the greater is greater than or equal to. And as you can see, we only get this H4 snippet and we could mix and match between all of this. For example, if we wanted to filter by the title, which contains H1 and satisfies this condition. Then of course we don't get anything because none of our snippets matches this criteria. So yeah, you can see how you could customize this to your needs. And there are some more minor things you can explore if you want to on your own, but I'm going to leave that to you. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. 
Make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you did and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any videos. Have a great day and cheers.